quarantine here with my sister, Sakitja. And we're here with, of course, a BTS reaction. I don't, I don't know what to say, because um, I'm hearing a lot of good things. I have not, we have not seen anything from the end, because we know Twitter and Instagram and all them good social, well, not good, all them social media <laughs> <laughs> platforms were going to spoil the end for us, so we just jumped right up this morning and was like, okay. Time to react to BTS. Yeah. We've seen the teaser though, so we kinda, well not really, because the teaser didn't really give like a good hint as to what that video was going to be like. So we don't know what's going on. We have not heard the song either. We did hear about the whole rumor with Nicki Minaj, it is true apparently. So Wow. Um, wow. I, I still want to know how wow. that happened. Jackson will be mad. But oh, <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, we, have, we ain't heard nothing. So this is the fresh, brand new first time reacting to Idol, the song called, this is called Idol, so, oh God. I don't know what this is, I'm scared, I'm, I'm, I don't even want to click I'm, I'm, on I'm this, scared. it's gonna be like this day, cause it got that background like it, but I heard, you know, it's good, how it is, and, you know, I ain't heard the song about, you know, heard rumors of what people were saying about the video, excited, but also nervous, so, oh boy, I guess we'll just jump right to it. Oh boy. Okay, so mm -hmm. no. <laughs> Go ahead. No, yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh god. Hey, hey, it's it's, it's it's too early in the morning, BTS. Please don't like make me jump out of this bed. I'm scared. Oh my god. Oops, not Africa? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, cuz Oh, wait a minute, that's me. Okay. Go no. RL. Oh my God. Are they just like it? Oh my God. Oh, 
Wow. Wait, that reminded me of the Envy. What video was that? One day? No, we were sitting that in the chair. We got to play that uh, game. We got to play that, that game. That's so much. We got to play that it's game. It's just Wow. We got to play that game. Just play that game. Oh. No. What the okay. heck? One more yeah. time. Mm -mm. One more time? Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -mm. What the heck? No, that was a lot going on. I, it's so much. Oh First God. of all, they, they look like they're in Africa. With it's a in the background. Because they got the Afro And then they dress like they're going on a safari. Slag the neck, shiny. Yeah. Oh my God. Excuse Sir. me. Okay. No. Okay. And you got something to come up with. Out so this is like a diss to a private with I'm free. Okay. Yeah. No more. I oh, oh, no more. I already myself. Oh, the rock line getting in the zone. Yeah, you come in, though. For real. That's so wicked. Yeah. Your dimples came out of the full effect, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like D Live. What? What the? Oh, the thing. Oh. See the picture right now? They made me for the G, but I thought I was looking. There's so much going up, it's like different. Look at that haircut. Look at the outfit. It's like, see, it's like the traditional Korean. Well, that's part of it, too. Yeah, there's a lot of tricky stuff in the video. You can't help but try to figure out a lot of things. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Was it DNA? Oh, oh sure. sugar part. Oh, I like his bugs, bunny shirt. Or sweater. Up a man. Get you home. What is that? It's like, I know it's like the African. And like the nation of like the. I guess like the dragon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's so many cultures put it together. I love it. I'm trying to say it's not for you. Oh, that'd be. Going on, but I, I don't even know how to process. What the heck? What, what just happened? Wow. That was a lot going on. I'm still, 
I feel like I still have to watch this video. There's just so much going on. It is. I wonder how it's going to be with the Nicki Minaj. I can actually thing. see how she's going to rap on this song. Because it's kind of like her beat, in a way. Like, what, what's that song called? That that beat, that song she did. Star was it Starship? I think, I think it was. No, it wasn't. That breakdown of Starship? I think so. I can kind of see how she'll rap on this song. I heard that she is the second version of this song, Envy, with her in it, so I want to have that When is they going to release that? This a lot is of a lot. got a lot of questions about that, because it's Nicki Minaj, and if y'all know Nicki Minaj, I don't think it's going to be bad or anything. People just wondering how it's going to sound. I don't know if her version of the song is so out. I wonder, because remember her performance at the Billboard Awards? Was she had hint? the Korean in the background. It was like, whoa! Was it uh, way back then? Yeah, did they, they keep when, did they, secrets? when do they do these collabs? That's what I want to know. Because it's just happening out the blue. Like, we, when people was um, waiting for their teaser to come out, whatever, apparently somebody released the song. Shazam. On was it Spotify? It was Shazam and Spotify. Yeah, Shazam and Spotify. I mean, they released the song, but they released the title of the song, and it had featuring Nicki Minaj. But they took it down immediately, and everybody was it's wondering it. if it was either a true thing or somebody just made it up. But apparently, it's real. But I'm oh, like Nicki Minaj. I'm like, oh, bitch, just getting all these oh, collaboration and deals. I'm really curious now how she gonna be in this song and how it's gonna sound because. This song itself is just like, bam. <laughs> so I don't even know. I feel like I'm gonna have to watch oh, this a few more times. And the uh, um, the guy, what's his name? He used to do all the covers. Connor Meyer. He used That's to do a good. lot of cover songs. I think he like British or something. He wrote a song on there too, and they got like he had wrote that the song that he wrote with his friend. They got approved, and they're using it on this album. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, that was just a lot. That was just a lot going on. It was like seeing the African like, vibes, Korean, um, Bollywood. vibes. Seen like Bollywood. Yeah, there's like a lot of culture. China, that, the diverse. Asia, and that's kind of cool because you know they got international fans, which are from different ethnic ethnicities. Yay! Because it's hard to say. Yeah, it's so it's so cool to see that they like. They basically say they don't so. give a f. They're still the same. That basically they trying to tell people. I to ain't tell the for people, no fame. God damn. Yeah, trying to tell the people. I'll be like, oh, BTS change. They think they all that. No, it's not BTS. Not like trying to be a uh, 100. It's the new fans. I'm talking about the new fans that had no idea what K-pop was until BTS happened. Yo, and then. But I'm gonna leave that for another video because oh, this supposed to be a happy video and it's I'm happy. not trying to go on a 20, 20, 30 minute rant, okay? <laughs> that was a lot. That's all I'm gonna keep saying. That was a lot. Was fake love supposed to be like a a transition to idols? Okay, you know who else would have been good on this beat? Oh, Because it reminded me so much of this person. What? Pitbull. Oh, oh, that's who should have loved. He would have told that beat oh. up because it's right up his alley. He loved yeah. this kind of beat. Yeah, if him and Nikki did did it together, that would have been that would have been like they said that would been sickening. That would have been, sick, been crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Fake love is some like towards the end of fake love when they was all standing. The extended version was standing in the line, and then it gotta be a connection somewhere between the two. Cause he just like they time travel back, mm -hmm. and like they all over the place with everything. And then they show J Hope's airplane, so and they mix, out. they match that together. And what else? It's it's so many it's like, like I gotta watch it again by each frame just to cipher so because there's so much going on. Yeah, it's like them, and then like you said, V Live with the filter, mm -hmm. like everything that makes an idol. Oh yeah, everything that makes an idol. How people praise the the kings on the Joseon area, Ooh. the part in Africa because they sit in like like how they was a mic drop. That's where that was from. The table that, part oh, yeah, and the, blood, the sweat, and tears. Wait a minute. When they was all at the table. Oh, that's why I was like, I see so much yeah, going you're on. Like, you rem you memorize them from the other envies, but they ain't clicking yet. Like what's and the DNA with the colors and stuff. 
Um, it's like they, uh, once again, it's like they mixed up all the interviews together. That's basically what they did. Because that's what this album is. It's like all these songs put together. Yeah. From the last two albums. And I think the part with the sharks, like, look like they're inside a cage. Probably representing the industry or something. Oh, and they was in the kit. Oh, I get it. Like they puppets. Yeah, like they, they always think that idols are puppets, and that because they're, they're being watched by the big dog, like the the big sharks of the big sharks. company. And like the part when even Nanju started, well, RM started first. We said they call me artist. They call Mommy me idol. idol. Yeah, I don't care what basically you call Basically, trying me. to put a title, title to on them. But they like, they just being They're themselves. basically saying, look, we still the same boys that struggled and went through all this and that before our fame. Yeah. We trying to prove to people that we still ourselves, mm -hmm. even with the success. And that part with V made a lot of sense where all the people's like crowding him. He was like, and he like was still, a shy was, looking boy. That, and he was trying to like dance with him and it was all like, like, like he was so trying to be a normal be, person. Yeah. Partying, but he couldn't because it was like so many people around him it was just like i said they were trying to prove that they still themselves even with the fame yeah and they don't want people to misinterpret that and think they trying to be and I, um what you call it and i hate to say it that part when it like it was like big giants i think they was trying to interpret like how did the fans always call them like gods legends mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. like they own world that's what that was it's just, it can be so much so much so much theory behind this, this video but the obvious one is that they having fun they're having fun they're still themselves they're still the same bts it's just they they're famous now they are and that but, part with jim was so funny because it seemed like he was like all into it so like he always do everybody else wasn't paying attention like oh, oh yeah you know, like it like it like it like <laughs> amazes me though like how far they come i mean i say this every time but it's just crazy how with, uh, no dream they are an idol. Yeah, it's, it's like I didn't expect them to blow up this much. And you know, even though we have mixed feelings about their not them, but the fame around them, you know, the people around them. and that, that I think that was the whole point of this song. Mm. But I am still proud of them for what they accomplished and what they doing. Because mm. it is true that it was no other group that reached this kind of level before like not at this level they keep just doing collabs after collabs and being on music american music um award shows and all this and that it is true that bts has like done a lot more than previous groups but it's still cool to see that they're still being appreciative to what their fans um you know what I'm trying to say. Look, their fans it's like did for them, people, how they helped them. They and, opened the doors, but they like fully in there now. Yeah, they, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I think that's what people get that mixed up at. Mm -hmm. And that's how a lot of Wars. arguments happen because people always think that I mean, I mean, it is fans out there, BTS fans, the new ones who think there are the the first group ever to bring k-pop out into the international industry well, like on this worldwide for, like, or whatever years and but years. yeah it, it, i they mean could. they they truly think they're like gods and that's where i'm just like I know, I too think much. that's why the title idol yeah. really comes into play because idol is like praising somebody yeah like exactly. god. they and they really praising them and it's just it's causing a lot of chaos because it's like they're oh, disrespecting well, other you just said that that makes sense why the video like all over the place yeah because it's chaos it's chaos it just but was the idol world like, is chaos because it's, it's fans trying to dictate who's better who's not and mm. just trying to put other groups down because they think this group is better because they have more success which isn't the case just because they're successful doesn't mean they're the best group out there. Not trying to bash BTS, but I'm just saying as an example. Can people just love them for who they are? Learn to, even if y'all disagree, agree to disagree. Or just accept that there's other groups besides BTS. True. And 
stop trying to praise them so much and think they're gods because it's just going to be a repeating pattern so you might as well just accept all groups and important and factor they're all friends that's what i'm saying i have to get that they're out of my all, chest this is they're so all friends they're all friends y'all have battles against the groups that but they're friends are friends with they each grew other. up they with grew them up, they, they went to school together. that's what i'm just like why are y'all causing arguments on twitter especially on twitter i hate twitter so much right now because people are just so petty so rude and especially when it comes to k-pop that's all you see is people arguing about bts and their fame we get it they're famous they're successful but don't put down other groups because they go they're in that same process bts was in exactly they were in the same process bts was in struggling to get to the top everybody's doing have the same goal even if they have different goals the same the the main goal is to be successful in their careers as to what they're doing stupid the whole <laughs> argument the whole but anyway i i'll you know i don't want to turn this to a rant video but that's all i gotta say it's just new fans the old fans know we know not even and when i mean old fans not the fans like that been there since they do i mean the fans who at least been with them before like Dope and blood, sweat, and tears, and all that. No more drinking. Yeah. Well, that's their debut song. But love school fam. All that stuff. Before dope, because that's where everybody, new fans, always start with their MV dope and all that. Dope. So, I mean, what you know what I'm saying? <laughs> human. They're regular people. They're and that's why they make more famous song. now. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're more famous now, but. They're still humans. The don't put down other groups, okay? Yeah. We all in the Be same respectful. boat. We all love K pop. Which is a music genre, not BTS, okay? It's K pop. You listen to groups. And I mean, if you stay in BTS and that's it, then fine. But at the end of the day, we all listen to the same kind of music. So there ain't no point. <laughs> you guys know how things are these days with K pop. And I might, I'm thinking about doing a video about it discussing more into detail as to what we mean about you know fandoms and bts fame and all this and that that was our reaction video to bts's idol let us know in the comments section below what you guys thought about the envy and the song what was your favorite part in the envy and what do you think the envy was supposed to be about even though it's kind of obvious <laughs> give it a big thumbs up go like and support bts you guys go like our video and subscribe to the channel if you support haven't. everybody yeah go support everybody beautiful q and tv signing out with my sister so good try. i remember this now god bless Bye. Bye.